the bottom wherever you find yourself and just taking a nice big roll of your shoulders so just feeling out as you roll if there's any stiffnesses tightnesses any tension anything gathering in that neck shoulder region let's reverse that circle as we roll the shoulders forward maybe there's an odd crunch odd creak just moving slowly warming up those shoulders coming to find the center point taking a nice deep inhale as you exhale begin to roll down so drop your chin to your chest slowly begin to peel and roll over softening your knees when you need to releasing head releasing body releasing legs as much as you need breath in and exhale draw belly to spine tuck tail and you keep arms and head heavy until the last moment where you restack head on shoulders grow nice and tall breath in and exhale excuse me <coughs> rolling down softening knees when you need to releasing body heavy all heavy breath in and exhale tail tucks under you belly to spine restack really feeling up each and every little vertebrae excuse me we've got two more <coughs> inhale exhale rolling down think of scooping belly up even more now as you release and relax the body forward inhale think of breathing expanding the back bits of the lungs and exhale begin to peel see how much more length you can gain between each roll down last one breath in and exhale rolling chin to chest scooping belly up release down and relax let your head be heavy give it a little wiggle get your shoulders be relaxed give them a little wiggle everyone bring your weight forward slightly more into your toes rather than your heels take an inhale and exhale force all that air out as you roll up and stop with your hands hanging in front of your knees take an inhale and as you exhale drop further down Inhale, roll up halfway, scoop even more. Exhale, release. Inhale, really imagine you punch the tummy and release. Three more. Inhale, round and scoop up. Exhale, release and down. And round and scoop. Shoulders are still relaxed. Last one, round and scoop. Really suck the in and release. Stay down here. Bending your knees as much as you need to so you can make contact with the floor with either fingertips, hands, wherever you get to. Taking an inhale through the nose. Exhale, just gently take your weight forward into your hands, just feeling that belly engage. Inhale, rock back slightly into your heels. Exhale, rock forward, tummy pulls up, weight and fingertips, and rocking slowly back. And rock forward, tummy pulls up three, knees as bent as they need to be. Rock back, three more to go. <sighs> Inhale, just warming up those abdominals, relaxing the neck further. Release one more, weight forward and fingertips. And release and relax. Bending your knees as much as you need to. And then slowly begin to peel, rolling up and restack your head last do a big circle with arms interlace them behind the head elbows are scooped forward and you're going to soften into your knees do a quick check peek down are your knees tracking over your second toes we don't want knees to be going out we definitely don't want knees to be going in make sure they're absolutely parallel quick check now with your pelvis are you tucked under are you leaning forward imagine rather that you're scooping belly under slightly so your back is up against a wall taking an inhale we twist body to the right exhale <sighs> inhale center twist left <sighs> inhale center going for an easy twist to warm up don't overthink it don't stress if your hips sway gently with you exhale twist left four more to go exhale twist right and release exhale lift last two really fill the lungs really empty the lungs last one exhale twist coming to find center take a breath in keeping your head there gently we're going to roll down dropping chin to chest releasing 
and releasing your hands once more down to the mat. So again, knees as bent as they need to be. Taking a breath in. As you exhale, we're gonna lift the heels and we're gonna squat and extend them up. And squat heels can lift and extend. Just bending as far down as you can here and extending as far up while keeping hands on the floor. Going for three more. Imagine someone's pulling your tailbone up. Last two. And extend up. And last one. And extend up. Hold it there for one moment. Take a breath in. And exhale again to roll all the way up to stand. Knees are once again softened. Circling arms, interlacing hands behind head. Elbows scoop forward. Double exhale on our twists now. Inhale. Exhale, twist to right for two. <laughs> Inhale, center. Twist to left. <laughs> and center. Right. <laughs> center. Left. <laughs> center. Four more. Really twist at the rib cage center. And three more. Deepen. Really shoulders heavy down. Last two. Inhale. Last one, release. Take a breath in. Exhale, drop chin to chest. Really try to round and scoop the spine to release down and release your hands down to mat once more. Widening your feet now. So not in line with your hips as they were previously, but maybe a sort of double that um, distance. And your hands are on the mat. Take a breath in. We're going to drop again. Heels can lift. We go down, think froggy, and extend. And down with them and reach up with them. Doesn't matter how far down you go, doesn't matter how extended you go. Finding your limits, down you go and extend. Last two, shoulders still staying down, still staying down as you extend. Last one and extend. Soften the knees, gently beginning to roll up as you walk your feet back to parallel and your hips, circling arms. Interlace hands once more behind head. Elbows scoop forward, shoulder blades heavy. Check here that you aren't leaning back with the ribs, but bring the ribs right on top to stack over the pelvis. Breath in, triple exhale. So we're going. Inhale, center. To the left. Inhale, center. Trying to keep the pelvis still as you twist now. Just twisting that torso to left. Center, four more. Twist right, one, two, three. Hips are staying rooted for three, two, one. Last two, make it count. Exhale, return, last one. Exhale, 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 return. Knees are still soft, breath in. And slowly drop chin to chest, begin to roll and round down. Relaxing body, relaxing last round making your legs nice and wide now so we were over there we've taken it to there and now take it even further can turn the toes out slightly just so it's a bit comfier for the knees we're going for a similar sort of bend knees as bent as you need to so your hands can make contact with the floor we take an inhale as we exhale we bend your heels and extend think of tailbone tucking under and tailbone reaching up for three and extend. So from the front, you're looking almost frog-like, like so. Extend, last two, tailbone down, tailbone up. Last one, if it's okay with your knees, stay there for a moment. If it's too much, come up. We're just gonna find that stretch. Almost imagine you opening your knees with your elbows to give yourself a, your own little resistance there. Open into the hips, sinking the pelvis down as much as you can for two breaths. Inhale, shoulders down. And last one. And release. Bring hands to the floor. Straighten out. Slowly begin to roll and re-stack the spine. Beautiful. Taking a step forward and then making your way onto your bum. And we're going to come onto our mat. Okay. So hopefully you've got a little bit of blood flowing. Your feet are going to be out in front of you, legs as straight as they are able. You'll, you'll see now we are going to move, so don't, don't stress too much if your hammies can't manage that. Your hands are going to come behind you. So your fingertips, if this is possible, are going to face towards 
your toes, so facing towards your body. If this is too much, just take them just off the mat like so. Wherever you are, roll your shoulders back and sit up nice and tall. If this means your knees need to bend a little bit to do so, that's fine. We're going to be aiming for that. That can be a little bit neural, so you can take your fingers out a little bit. Squeezing shoulder blades slightly, growing tall off the crown of the head. Take an inhale. As we exhale, we're going to round our spine, tucking tail, bending your elbows, and then restacking spine, straightening elbows, and growing tall. We round for two. <sighs> inhale and open. Doesn't matter if elbows don't straighten here, that's cool. Round for three and extend lift. Now check here, you shouldn't be rounding in your shoulders as you come round forward, but more in that lower spine. Rounding for four. Inhale, lift, iron can lift slightly. Let's go for four more. And return, last three. Really scooping belly in. Squeeze those inner thighs as much as you can. Last two and release. Last one, we're going to hold it there. Now adjust your hands if you need to, a little bit wider if you need to, hands a little bit out. We're going to hang 10 there for a little bit. Even though you round it down in your belly and you're scooping in, check again that the shoulders haven't round, rounded forward, open the collarbones. Belly pulls in, take a breath in. Our right leg is going to lift up and just go out to side of the mat. So it looks like this. Inhale, center. Same leg for two. You haven't sunk in the shoulders. For three, you might be getting a really nice stretch in front of shoulders. For four, inhale, scoop belly in. Last one like this, five. Return to the left for five. And back. For four, tap and back. It can be a really low movement, doesn't matter. And two more. Return and last one. And we turn really round and then really restack, widening your feet so they're mat width apart. My plant's in the way, sorry. Walking your hands forward, growing nice and tall. Exhale, we're gonna walk ourselves forward in five. Five, four, three, two, one. Releasing here. Walk back. Five, four, three, two, one. If knees need to be bent, that's fine. For five, four, three, two, one. And walk back. Five. Four, three, two, one. Finding your own rhythm as you reach forward. Try not to let your shoulders go with you. Let your arms relax and put the work and the stretch into the back and the legs. Two more sets. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk back. Five, four, three, two, one. Last set. Five, four, three, two, one. And up you come. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands come back, that was your little break for the arms, and we bring our legs back towards one another. Rolling back as we did before, so really tuck and scoop the belly here, flatten the navel. Remember hands facing forward or fingers facing forward, or if you need to, just a little bit out. Open the collarbones, feel that nice shoulder stretch. This time we're going to extend our spine. So we're almost aiming for a little diagonal line of our back there, still keeping the belly nice and tight. If this is too much, stay in the rounded spine position. Inhale, looking forward, we repeat, right leg out. And back, four, two, return, four, three. Try to keep stable at pelvis, four, return, and five, change sides. Exhale, lift. These aren't particularly fun. If you're thinking that, don't worry. Open three, and return, two more. Last one and return. Really lift your chest a little bit more. Open your legs and slowly sit tall. Walking hands forward. Breath in. Exhale, roll down. We walk. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk back. Five, four, three, two, one. Restack. Forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello, hamstrings. Five, four, three, two, one. Three more. The knees can be bent if you need it, rather get that extension in the spine and rather sit up nice and tall with the spine. Last two, walking forward and maximum reach. Back you come, shoulders down. Last one, walk and reach. Last one, back and reach. 
legs come back to center, wiggling bound forward should you need to, and coming back onto your elbows. Now all these things with the arms back and the elbows back are really challenging if you are tight in the front of your shoulders, which a lot of people are. So if you are, just persevere with me and perhaps make your elbows a little bit wider. It'll help your shoulder, um, will help out your shoulder flexibility a little bit. If you can, try to your, prop your elbows up right underneath your shoulders. Roll your shoulders back and lift out of your chest. You can squeeze your shoulder blades slightly. Look straight ahead of you so your chin is parallel to the mat. Don't fling your head back. Really draw the belly in. You can be a slight little tilt. We're going to hold it there. We're going to alternate our legs now. Breath in. Exhale, right leg goes first. So we go. Return for left. Two. Return, four, three. Still unstable in the pelvis, four. Return, exhale, five. Straight as so you can give me, release, and eight. Last two, release, last one. Return, really round your spine, but lift your chest, and then slowly return to neutral. Breath in, tuck this belly, press out of the shoulders, open the collarbones. We go a little bit quicker. We go. And three, and center, and four, and center, and five, and six, almost there, seven, and eight, nine, and ten. Open both legs, really lift out the shoulders, and then slowly release your arms down. Roll yourself all the way onto your back. Adjust the wiggle should you need to. You lie now flat on your back. Your feet are mat width apart and your arms are drawing by your side. Take an inhale. Exhale, you're gonna glide chin past chest, just come up into a little chest lift, reaching fingertips towards toes. If this is too much, pop your hands behind your head. Inhale, we lower down, release. Exhale for two. Inhale, release. Five we go. Trying to let the belly work, less so the neck. And release, last two. And release, last one. And release. Circling right arm, placing it behind the head. Press your neck into your hands slightly. So really engage and stabilize the neck and reach your left arm up to the ceiling. Palm facing inwards. Both shoulders drawing down and really stabilize inside pelvis. So imagine you've got a cement block here and nothing's going to move. Take an inhale. As we exhale, we're lifting and twisting the torso to the right. So left fingertips reach to right toes. We go. Inhale, release. Repeat for two. Now check here that left hip should stay still. You don't want it coming with you. It must stay rooted on the mat. And for four. Inhale, look. Rotate, twist, five. Try your best to get both shoulder blades off the mat. And release. Twist, lift, seven. And release to 10. We go. And release, last two. And release, last one. Shocking, we're gonna hold it there. Draw shoulders down, rest head in hands. Left foot is coming to the right. Left foot to right, take it back. For two, and back. For three, inhale. Stay lifted in the shoulder blade. Only four more. Feel the burn, head of abdominals. Last two, cross, return. Last one, return and slowly release. Interlace both hands behind the head. Shoulders down, elbows scooped up, breath in. Exhale, we lift to the center for 10. Release. For nine, try to keep pelvis steady, flatten belly. Breathe, force it out. Six, release, last five. Last four, last three. Head heavy, two, last one. Hold for a moment, head heavy in hands, deepen slightly, release yourself down. Right arm reaches towards the ceiling. Take an inhale. Pelvis is steady, especially, especially this right hip. Glue it onto the mat. Breath in. Exhale, right fingertips to left toes. <sighs> inhale, center. So palm can go down and palm facing inwards. For three. 
Inhale, check here that that right shoulder hasn't gone with you. Still keep it drawing down. Make the twist happen in the torso, not the arms. And twist six. Inhale, exhale out. Seven, flattening belly. And eight, last two like this. Make it count. Nine, head heavy in hands. Last one, ten, hold it there. Shoulder check, belly sinks. Inhale, right foot moves to left. We go. Return for two. Return. Hold three. Not moving in hip. And six. Almost there. And seven. Shoulders down. Neck heavy. Last two. Last one. Return. Reach a little bit more. And lower down. Interlacing hands both behind the head. Shoulders down. Breath in. Double exhale as we come up. Inhale, lower. For two, two, release. You should feel that tummy starting to burn and lower. This is where the work happens and where change happens in this burn. For five, five, release. Not jerking, think of maximum, deepen, release. Last three, deepen, release. Last stop, only up, release. Last one, stop. Release. Reaching left arm once again to the ceiling. Check shoulders. We, I'm reminding you a lot about the neck and shoulders because as our abdominals get tired, generally we tend to pull on our necks and round into our shoulders. So a quick reminder there. Taking an inhale. As we exhale, we're going to twist to the right, left fingers to right fingers as we did previously. You have an option here to lift your foot. So either reaching for shin, knee, toe, wherever you get, and we're going to lower back down. If this is too much, you can even just reach and float this leg just off the mat. That's absolutely fine. Pelvis again is rooted in cement. Inhale. Exhale, twist and lift. We go. Release. Four, two. Release, twist, rotate. Keep that left hip still. Lower, four, four. Breathe. And six, almost there. You can do it. Seven, feel the burn. And eight, shoulders down. Two more, nine. Release, last one, ten. Hold it there. Palm down, shoulders down. Five pulses to twist. Five, four. Try to reach your toes. Three, Two and one, and release down into those hands behind head. Triple exhale coming up into chest lift. Breath in. Exhale, we go. Inhale, lower. Exhale. Inhale, lower. Have you guessed the theme of the class? Three, 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 and release. And burn those abs and release. Number five. Imagine you've got a little pulley pulling your body up from your rib cage and not your neck. Last five. And control down. Last four. And release. Almost there. Three more. Three, three. Release. Head heavy. Two more. You should be able to see your elbows and your peripheral vision. Last one. And release. Last push, almost there. Right arm up, both shoulders down, scoop palm up. Option here to lift left leg just off or twist and try to touch that leg. Right hip now staying absolutely still and stable. Breath in. Exhale, twist, rotate, right fingertips to left leg. And release. As important the up as the control down. Sorry, plant for three. And release. Twist four. And lower. And five. And release. That control is what leans and tones your muscle. So as important, important to come up slowly as to lower slowly. Almost there. Three more. And release. Last two. And release. Last one. Hold. Right hip down. Shoulders down. Five pulses, fingers tips to toe tips. For five. For four. For three, sink down, two with a belly, one, and release down, and interlace hands behind head. Take a breath in, exhale, exhale all the way out. Last breath, 
and exhale it all out. Take an inhale. Exhale, we're going to drop chin to chest and try to roll all the way up. So we go. Inhale, sit tall. And exhale, roll down to release. If you need your arms, go for it. Reaching arms forward and sitting up. If you can keep your hands behind your head, go for it. And release. Three more. And up you sit. And roll, tuck tail, tuck tail, release. Last two, promise. Arms will help if you're struggling, rather reach them forward. And roll down and release. Last one. Go for it, go for it, go for it. My abs are dying too, I promise. Hold it up there. Everyone can meet me sitting on your sit bones. Hands behind your head if knees need to bend. Go for it. Take an inhale. We go for rotations, twist. <sighs> inhale, center. Your feet are still mat width apart. Still rotating from your torso and not your elbows. Keep your eye line straight. You're drawing a line to the one side, center, and a line to the other side. Release. Last four. Return. Last three. Return. Last two. Return. Last one. Very nice. Walk your feet close towards one another. Wiggle bump forward should you need to grow tall. One more little extension and then tuck your tail starting low spine, rounding down all the way to release down. And doing your hands behind your head, drawing your arms by your side in a nice wide V. Taking an inhale. As you exhale, we're gonna lift our right leg to 90 degrees. So we're gonna go and we lower. Left leg for two. Control down. Now you can hold your hips if you'd like to, to check that there's no wiggle or you're limiting the wiggle in the pelvis. Release. For right, inhale, lower. For left, inhale, lower. If your back is taking strain, imprint your spine slightly into the mat, so tuck your tail slightly. You've got two more. Right up, lower, and left up, and lower. We're gonna add a twist. So we're gonna go right up, Knee across the body, return, and return foot to mat. So we go. And twist, and center, return. Trying to keep stable in the shoulders, don't let them twist too much. Return, four more, right up, right across, right return, and lower. Shoulders are staying rooted in the mat, only twisting as far as you can manage while keeping that stable. Last two, and twist, and center. Neck is nice and long, nod that chin, and center, and back, and low. We add a leg extension now, so we're gonna go up, twist, straighten, bend, return, lower leg, and left leg, twist, straighten, and bend, and return, and right, up, straighten, bend back, and lower. Nod chin, check no tension in neck, and back, return, let's breathe. Last four. Twist, straighten, return, and lower. Last three, twist, straighten, and return, and lower. And belly staying in, holding, and back you come, control leg down. Last one, twist, straighten, and return, and lower. Nod chin, relax shoulders, walking your feet back up towards your bum, keeping feet together keeping knees squeezed, ankles squeezed, the whole bang shoot. Here we go, everyone tuck your tail. So pressing your lower back into the mat, filling that gap and flatten your belly down. Take an inhale. Exhale, we're gonna float both our knees to our chest. <sighs> inhale, control, let your toes just tap. Exhale for two. Control, don't move your shoulders. We tend to curl our shoulders as we lower our legs. Don't do that. Open the collarbones and release. Make the movement smaller if you're struggling. And control, last four. Pulling belly in, 
controlling legs out. Three, and return, shoulders still relaxed. Two, make all the work happen in that lower body. Last one, hinge back, holding, lifting your legs and confining them into your 90 degree position. Again, press your back into the mat, flatten your belly down, tummy should be working, and taking our arms out, either out into a V, into a T, or into a rugby post slash cactus position. Wherever you are, nod your chin, imagine your arms are getting reached long to either side, we're going for our spinal twists. Inhale, knees over right, exhale, pull back. Inhale, over left, tummy stays in, exhale, draw back. Tummy muscles controlling you over. Tummy muscles pulling you back. Inhale. Pull back, exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last three. And exhale, pull back. Last two. And exhale, tummy pulls in. Last one. And exhale, return. Interlacing hands behind head where you are, scooping elbows up, still pressing back into mat, flattening belly. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, tummy up, right toe tap. Inhale, lower. And left. Inhale, lower. Right, two. Your tummy should die tomorrow. And tap. And lower. And two more like this. Return. And last one. We're now extending leg to 45. Exhale, right. Inhale, lower. Left. Inhale, lower. Tummy tight. Right. Inhale. And left. Inhale. Last two like this. Really extend. Draw up and belly. Last one. Return. Stay at this previous one if you're happy there. Otherwise, you're going to lower that leg as you extend to hover just over off the mat. Belly in, back into mat. Inhale. Exhale, we extend and lower. So we go. Inhale, lower. Left leg, hover and return. Your back still flat. Don't move it. Return. And left. Return. Last two, hover. Return, last one, hover, return. Everyone lift your chest up, draw your shoulders down, pull the belly in, find that perfect 90 degrees. We go in for our bicycle, extend right. And lift, and two, and change, and three, to six we go, and four, and change, and five, and change, one more, six. Everyone stop, right leg bent, twist body to right, we change, six, and change, twisting with the body change four more rounds change three more rounds change get the shoulder blades off the mat last one and change come to center deep in body and then finally feel sorry for yourself and your abdominals let shoulders relax maybe looking to left and right just releasing into the neck coming to center and pressing the back of the head into the neck gently and release one more just turning off any overworking muscles in the front. Controlling feet down, finding them onto the mat, and separating them hip distance apart. All 10 toes facing forward, knees, hips, ankles, ooh, and hips all in one line. Sorry, Monday brain. Finding your neutral pelvis here. So again, you've got back into a small hollow between lower spine and mat. If your back is sore, feel free to work in a slight little imprint. We're going for our pelvic curls here. Arms resting by side, resting by side. Palms are up. Breath in. Exhale, we tuck our tail. Squeeze our bum and peel all the way up into the sky. Inhale. And exhale, melting down. Using this as a nice neutralizer after all that abdominal work, really get that spine to move. Exhale, tummy muscles pull pelvic bone all the way up and into the sky. Breath in. And melting down, ribs first, don't round the shoulders as you come down, all the way to neutral. Four more, tuck, peel roll all the way up, feeling that nice extension on the front. Our next exhale, roll and round down. Last two, tuck belly, squeeze bum, peel and lift, inhale, 
and melt down every little segment to find neutral. Last one, tuck the belly, peel every vertebra off the mat to hold it there. Can you drop your ribs down a little bit more? Can you lift your bum up a little bit more? Check that your knees aren't veering too far out. Try to keep them parallel with your hips and your feet. Everyone press your big toes down into the mat. Lift your bum a little bit higher, but drop your ribs a little bit more. Take an inhale. Exhale, we're gonna relax the right bum, so your hips will tilt to the right. And inhale, come back to where you started. Exhale, left hips. Inhale, center. We go. Still keep big toes pressing down and left. Squeeze up. Tip right. Squeeze up. Three more. Left drops and lift. Last two. Right drops and squeeze up. Last one. Lift. Hold. Can you tuck your tail a little bit more? Can you squeeze your bum a little bit more? We're going for little pulses, lifting our bum up. And almost think of scooping. We go. Scoop 10. Scoop 9. Scoop eight, scoop seven. It's a small movement with a pelvis. And seven, try to keep still on the ribs. Six, squeeze both bones equally. Four more, three more, shoulders heavy. Two, not that chin. One, take a breath in. And slowly roll down each little segment, melting into the mat, releasing to neutral. Take a nice deep inhale, hugging your chest, and knees to your chest. And gently you're gonna rock yourselves up onto your bum. Good work, everybody. Turning onto your hands and your knees. So sitting up to your knees are right underneath your hips. Your elbows are right underneath your shoulder as you lower down onto your elbows. Sorry, I just want to do this so you can see what's going on. Okay. So either hands can be clasped or reaching down. See what feels comfier for you. Try to check that you have that perfect little box shape and um, just nice and supported. We tend to take our body back because it's more challenging to put your weight into your arms. So try even yourself out if you can as much as you can. Pressing the backs of the feet or the tops of the feet into the mat, making sure you're not hanging in the spine, but really tuck your tail, press out your shoulders so you've got a nice diagonal line going down all the way from your tailbone to the tip of your head, so not your chin. Taking an inhale. Exhale, we're gonna float our right leg up. So try not to lean too much to the left as you, as you made that transition. And try to keep both hip bones still facing down so you haven't opened your hip just yet. Tummy still stays up. Your eye lines down. We're gonna pulse up for eight. Try to put your foot on the ceiling for three. Pulse four. Squeeze five. Trying to squeeze where your hamstring meets your bum and seven, and eight. We're gonna go pulse up, open knee, close knee, lower leg. Up, open, close, lower slightly. Three, and open knee, but don't open the hip. So what not to do is that, down, and what to do, lift up, just knee rotates, down, release. We've got four more. Last three, tummy still pulls up, close and low. Press out those shoulders, open, close. Last one, and good, open, hold it there. Breath in, we can extend that leg. And bend. Your knees turned out to side, return. Still press out of shoulders, belly in. Four, four, return. Squeeze, extend, five, return. Return, and seven, last one, eight, hold. Flex the foot, press out the shoulders, belly in, inhale. Exhale, cross your leg over, so it's going to peep almost over your left shoulder, so it's tapping the mat, and then take it back to where it came from. Toe tap behind you. <sighs> inhale, lift. Four, three. Inhale, lift. Four, four. Open that knee out, squeeze your back, five, press out of shoulders and tummy, and six, and lift, you've got two more, seven, straight to leg you can give me, last one, eight, up you come, lift it a little bit higher, 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 press out your shoulders, and then slowly lower your leg, sliding your right knee through, and propping yourself up onto your hands as you come into a nice stretch. 
So if you're up here, that's absolutely fine. Just try square of hips and shoulders to the front and gently just sink your body down to find your stretch. If you are nice and flexible, feel free to come down onto shoulders or onto elbows or even all the way down onto the mat. To make it more challenging, this front leg can come forward slightly and try really roll that front hip towards the front. We're looking for a nice deep stretch in this glute, so the, the bent leg glute, and in the front leg hip flexor if you're feeling it there. Really relax your body, really find where you can get that stretch. You're going to hold there for three more breaths as you inhale and exhale. Let your head go, inhale. Exhale, last one, a heavier body, heavier leg, and exhale. Slowly walk yourself back up onto your hands if you were there. Tuck your back toe, press out of your shoulders as quick and smooth, as smoothly as you can. We're going to lift up and come find your plank. Pressing out your shoulders, tucking belly in. Really make sure you're not sinking your weight back, but draw your weight right over your shoulders. Challenge yourselves for two more breaths and release. Last breath, release, hold. Breath in. We're going to drop that right hip. And we drop left. Drop right. Drop left. Just pivot on your toes. Let them follow. And lift four more. Pivot right, keep tail tucked. Left, two more. Right and left. Come back center. Press out your shoulders. Long neck. Slowly as you can. Lower your knees down. Back you come, setting yourself up onto the other side. Pressing out of shoulders, nodding chin. Belly draws up. We shift weight slightly to right to lift the left leg this time. Flex your foot. Make sure your knees are flaring open to begin with. Face your kneecap down towards the mat. Inhale. Exhale, we pulse leg up. Release. Really squeeze your bum consciously to make the bum and the hamstring do the work, not just the hamstring. Three. Really squeeze. Four. Hammy bum meet. Five. Squeeze it there. Two more. Check you don't sink in back as you lift. Last one. We add the open. Up. Open knee. Close knee, lower slightly for two. Open, close, release. Remember the pelvis is still, just that knee opens. Release, four. Five. Tummy up and in. And six, open knee, close knee. Last two, seven, open knee. Press up those shoulders, don't sink. And last one, press, hold it there. Tummy up, shoulders up, inhale, extend this leg. Keep that knee for two, and in for three. Squeeze your bum consciously, really fire it up. Last four, return, last three, keep going. Two more, last one, hold. Tummy check, shoulder check, breath in. We cross over, tap behind you. And lift up for two. Your head can peep if that's comfy. Otherwise, keep looking forward. Return for three. Don't sink your belly as you lift. Cross over four. Inhale. Last four. Inhale. Last three. Breath in. Last one. Give me the straightest leg you can. Lift it higher. Open. Press out your shoulders. And then slowly. Bring your leg through, finding your stretch on the other side. Squaring off hips, shoulders, everything. Sinking hips down as much as you are able to. If you need support up here, that's cool. Wherever you're at, wiggling, trying to find that nice deep glute stretch and relax your body nice and low. We've got three breaths as you inhale and exhale. And inhale, fill the lungs. Exhale, relax body even further. Last one, inhale. And exhale out. Slowly begin to walk yourself back should you need to. Tucking your right toes, pressing out of shoulders. And as quick like a cat, extend everyone back into your plank. 
Taking weight forward, you're on your toes, tucking belly in, we hold. Inhale, exhale, put weight in all your fingertips. Think Spider-Man hands. Inhale, exhale, breath in, we add our tips. Exhale to the left, we tip. And right. Check you don't arch your back here, keep it tucked. Change left, tip right, four more. Last two, and change. Perfect plank, hold it there, press out the shoulders, slowly lower your knees, and press back into your rest position. Give your wrists a little circle. Maybe flick your fingers, just getting some nice blood flowing to them. And then slowly begin to curl and roll up all the way to come to sit. Once again, let's turn the light onto our backs. We're gonna get into a little bit of ankle work. So something we don't often do. Sorry, I'm grabbing some water, grab if you'd like. And for that reason, you can find this um, fairly simple ankle exercise quite tiring. So see how you go, but let's try and get each of those little bones moving and gliding. So you can work your body into a neutral spine here if you're able to maintain it. If not, go into a slight tilt, that's absolutely fine. Your arms are going to be rest resting by your side. Your one leg and then the other leg is going to float up. So you're not in a 90 degree, but more just extended into the legs. If this is super tough on your hip flexors, feel free to hold and assist your legs over here, but try and keep them there if you can. Separating them just hip distance apart, relaxing the belly down, relaxing the neck. We're going to go for circles of our angle. So let's go outwards first, big circles for 10, for 9, 8, big 7, 6, 5. Knees not moving at all. Three more, just those ankles. Two more, one more. Reverse inwards for 10, for 9, for 8. Still holding the belly. 7, 6, relax shoulders. 5, 4, 3, Two, one, both ankles to the right. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, to the left for ten, nine, even bigger. Eight, shoulders down, head relaxed. Five more, four more, three more, two more, one more to center. We're gonna point with the ankles. So ankles point. Toes point, pull toes back, pull ankles back for two. Point toes, toes back, ankles back for three. Point toes, all of you are ballerinas now for four. Point, toes back, ankles back for more. Point, toes back. Really trying to separate that ankle movement to the toe movement, isolating into those joints. Two more, point, toes back, ankles back. Last one, point, toes. You're going to feel like your ankles are dying. Off we go, circles out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Hold your legs if you need to. 4, 3, 2. Reverse inwards. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. I told you an easy movement will get hard. 3 more, 2 more. To the right for 10. Nine, eight, almost there. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, to the left for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last round we go. Ankles, toes, toes, ankles. Two, point, toes back, ankles. Three, almost there, I promise. Four, point, toes back, ankles. Five, point, Last five and four. Good work. Really make it count. Three and two. Feels like your legs don't work anymore. That's fine. One point. Pull back and just shake your feet out. Give it a rest. Well done. There's one muscle in the front of your shin that pulls your ankles back. That's why it feels so super intense. Lower your legs and just kick your bum a bit. Let's go to it back this way. And really slowly bring your feet down. Again, extending your legs up and propping yourself 
back onto your elbows as we began. Shoulders roll back, inner thighs are squeezing, ankles are squeezing, tummy is drawing slightly in. We're gonna repeat what we did earlier, lifting our leg and then adding a twist. So we're just in this upright position now. If it's really too much for your shoulders, feel free to lie all the way back down on your back, but otherwise really try and open the shoulders. Hopefully they've stretched out. Don't lift your eye line, keep it straight ahead of you. Draw belly in to slightly stabilize there. Breathe in. Exhale, we lift right. Extend, lift, left. Extend and right. Really press out those shoulders. Lift, two more like this. Right, extend and left. We add a twist. So we go right knee, across body, center, lower leg. Left leg, across body, hip will lift and lower. Right leg, twist, lift. Keep pressing out your shoulders, that's the important part. Lift, over, last two like this. Right, twist, over, center, extend, lift, twist. Last round, we add a leg extension. Right up, left, extend, bring it back, lower it down. Left up, over, extend, bring it back. Press out shoulders, last four, I promise. Your neck might be working, that's fine. It's holding your head up. Left, across, extend. Bring it back, last two, tummy in. Right, across, extend, bring it back. Last one, left, across, extend, bring it back and lower. Bring the right leg up, hold the leg, try to stay there and then release your body all the way down, hugging right knee into chest. Circling that hip outwards for five, for four, for three, and two, let hips move with it, and one. Come back to center, holding on to belly. Quick and nice and controlled, change your legs, resting right leg on floor, hugging left knee to chest. Circle outwards with that knee for five. Hips can move, four, and three, and two, Last one, come back to center, changing legs once more, big circles inwards with hips for five, for four. Think of massaging that ball in the socket, three and two, We've done a lot of hip work, once you should feel nice and warm. Last one, we change legs, big circles in with that left, five, four and three, and two, and last one. Releasing that leg out, opening the legs once more, mat width or even your feet just off the mat. Reach your arms up, take an inhale. Exhale, chin to chest, roll yourself up. And just relax your body forward. Let your hands reach either onto the mat, onto your thighs, onto your legs, wherever you get to. Just relaxing your body in through the arms. If knees need to be bent, go for it. Aim for legs straight. Find that last bit of extension in the back of the legs and over in the spine. Let your elbows relax down. It will relax your shoulders. And let your head be nice and heavy. We're going for two breaths there. And exhale. And last breath. And exhale. Restack, drawing your feet together. Hugging right knee into your chest and crossing right foot over left foot. Thigh. Coming into a yoga type twist, you're going to either hug this left leg and uh, right leg with your left arm reaching behind, or you can even bring your arm all the way around, depending on your flexibility. Really try to hug this leg in that almost assists you extending your spine. Draw shoulders down and try to peep and rotate over your right shoulder. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, shoulders down, especially this back one. Last one. Exhale, twist. Coming back through center. Releasing, changing and twisting to the other side. So either hugging leg or reaching arm forward. We inhale. Exhale, shoulders down. Inhale. Exhale, twist a little bit more. Last one. Exhale, twist. Coming back to center. Try and keep spine nice and straight as you extend right. Hug left, left foot over right thigh. Sitting onto those sit bones, reaching to twist the way you came now first. So, hugging right arm over left leg, peeping and twisting around. 
If you can bring this arm in front, go for it. Wherever you are, try to both sit bones down, exhale, twist. Two more, inhale, grow tall. Exhale, twist, last one, inhale. Exhale, twist. Coming back to center, last rotation. Twisting, keeping that leg there, either holding forward or holding your leg. Shoulders roll back, exhale, twist. Last two, grow even taller and pivot around that length. Last one, exhale, twist. Slowly release back to center. Stretching legs out, legs nice and wide. We're gonna try and roll back twice and come stand up. So we can roll back once and sit on your bum. Last one, roll, try stand up all the way. Up you come and just wiggle your feet together or, or just hip distance apart and bend your legs and relax your body forward. Weight cycling wants your toes and your heels. Relax and wiggle your shoulders. Relax and wiggle your head and your neck. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, drawing belly to spine, slowly beginning to peel and roll all the way up to stand. Doing a big circle with your arms out to the side to interlace them at the top, big circle like so. Breath in, exhale, we pivot and reach over to lift. Inhale, center, reach, stretch, right. Keep your tail gently tucked, so don't stick your bum out. Last two. Inhale, return, and last one, and back you come, and slowly relax, arms down, chin down, head down, begin to roll down, last roll down, legs can be straight or bent, how you choose, for last breath, and slowly begin to rest back, then shoulders just draw down the back, last one, big circle, arms interlace, shoulders are still down, Reaching up, you may, may be able to see your hands in the front here, that's fine. Exhale, we go over to lift. Inhale, seat. Tummy tucked slightly right. And center, two more long body reaches over. And back you come. And last one, return. Big, big inhale. Exhale, roll down, last one. Pull your body forward, feel that length that you've gained. Take one more inhale, watch your head rush as you roll up in five, in four, three stacking three, in two, in one, grow tall. We roll our shoulders back for five, feeling hopefully a bit more mobility. Three and two, one, last five, forward five and four and three. Bigger circles, two, hopefully less creaks, one. Open your collarbones, grow tall, and then someone's pulling you from the crown of your head. For one last breath, the deepest one you can, in through the nose, inhale, 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 inhale. And then exhale it all out, forcing all that air out. And well done, everyone. You are all done. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Bye. Thank you. Happy evening, everyone. So Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.